around marketing to farmers, farmer to farmer this year, so people know about it. So um, I want to add one more thing that part of our work is emergency grants, and we're in touch with Willie very, very closely on this, um, almost daily, and he was very concerned about the hurricanes, obviously, in Texas and Louisiana. He asked us to write to the governor, which we did of Texas, and um, we are going to be d um, sending out today, um, over Willie's signature, of course, $30,000 in grant checks to victims of hurricanes in Louisiana and Texas. For the very reason that we cannot afford to lose one more family farmer. Thank you, Carolyn. Yeah, before we get to our last presenter, I just want to say there's a lot of humility on display in the five people to my left. But I was thinking, you know the movie that everybody waits for? It's a Wonderful Life. Everybody's seen it 500 times. Remember the moment when George Bailey says, I'm not sure what, I've been, what contribution I made in the angel. What's the angel's name? Clarence. Clarence says, I'm going to describe to you what life would have been like without George Bailey. Can you imagine if Clarence was here today and could describe what life would have been like without 23 years of these guys in Farm Aid? I'll tell you. <laughs> you can invite Clarence next year, Carolyn. I'm, I hear he's available. Duan Grant, our next participant was not around for the first seven Farm aides. He's 16 years old. He attends John D. O'Brien High School, lives in Boston. He was the Food Project's summer youth program in 2007. He's currently a kitchen intern. Whoops. Not done yet. Hey, uh, Duan, you spent a summer growing and distributing family far fo farm food in areas of the city, Boston, where it's hard to get. How is what you did, how is it, uh, what have you learned from it, and what lessons can you convey like, to other young kids who care about these kind of things? Well, I've been at the Food Project two years now, and since I've been there, I learned a lot about the local sustainable food system. I mean, at the Food Project, we like to think of it as like the process from seed to plate. And my first year at the Food Project, I did a lot of things in agriculture, like field work, harvesting. And now I'm a kitchen intern, so I cook a lot of the food that we harvest. So I like basically learned everything you know about that whole process. And I've also learned a lot about the, um, the whole thing about bringing local food in the areas that can't access it as well. I mean, when you do that, you're like supporting, supporting farmers, the local economies. You're also giving people an opportunity to try food that tastes a lot fresher and is healthier. Duan Grant, can we all agree? Can we all agree if the world was populated with all Duan Grants, it'd be exactly like we wanted it to be? I think so. Duan, you're great. Back to you, Carol Mugor. I want to I thank a lot of people that were involved in today to make it happen per usual. And I also want to say, I was just sitting here thinking, hopefully, um, that imagine how lucky are family farmers that these guys are, um, are at it the way they are. I just can't help but be grateful every day for everything you all do. I really am. I want to thank the governor also for coming. We're very glad to have Governor Patrick here. I want to thank our Farm Aid Board. And I know some of them are here, and I would like them to wave if, they, if they're here. Willie, of course, Neil, John, and Dave. <laughs> <laughs> David Anderson, where are you? You're a, you're a wonderful pal of ours, and you help in any number of ways, which um, would take too long to describe. Lana Nelson, who's not here, sadly. Paul English, where are you? Paul, right there. Paul, thank you so much. You're always there for us in those important bedrock ways. Mark Rothbaum, are you here? No. Oh, Mark is not here. I'm so glad you can wave, though. Mark, thank you. I constantly get advice from you, some of which I like and some of which I don't like, but I take it, and it's always the right word, too. So, Evelyn Shriver, who's not here. Joel Katz, I don't believe, is here. And Richard Fields, I don't believe, is here. But I want to thank them because, really, um, we rely on those people uh, often and much. I also want to say that um, I want to thank the Comcast Center. I don't believe we've ever worked with people that have been kinder to us and um, more uh, resilient. Um, Don Law, uh, Dave Marsden, and Bruce Montgomery. And if you're out there, please pat yourselves on the back. I want to thank all the vendors. 
I want to thank an uh, unbelievable amount of volunteers. What do we have, 300? or I don't even want to say how many because the, it's too many. Um, and I want to thank our sponsors, our very important sponsors, Whole Foods Market and Horizon Organic. Of course I have to thank the Farm Aid staff because the Farm Aid staff really is who does this and everything gets tossed to people who are not on this stage and they should be on this stage right now. They should be here. And I feel bad that they're not up here, but that's the way it goes. Okay, Showtime, I want to remind you. <laughs> Showtime is at 110. Direct TV is going to start broadcasting live on their channel 101 at 4 to 11. So if you've got friends at home, tell them to call them up and tell them to watch. You can watch it on the Farm Aid website, farmaid.org, which we also encourage you all to go on and donate through. And also tell farmers about it because they can now use this Farm Aid website, the Farmers Resource Network. Um, I want to say that uh, there's one other thing. You're sitting in this area that we call the Homegrown Village, which I, is one of my favorite things that we do. It's an interactive site. There are 23, I believe, exhibitors, one of which is uh, an organization that Willie and Annie started, Sustainable Biodiesel Alliance. And um, it's got, there's no leaflets that are going to be handed out. This is an experiential time that you can all have when you go around to these places. One of the places even has a bicycle that you get on and it's got a blender attached and you make seed balls that you can then throw into spare lots and cities to make everything look better and grow better. Which it's, <laughs> the creativity is beyond, beyond my imagination. Um, and also I want you to talk to farmers who are going to be here all day long in the farmyard over there. We've got a whole rotation of farmers. Um, you can go to the media tent. If you're media, there's gonna be, they're going to be setting up interviews with all the cast of characters on this stage, plus more, plus farmers and other advocates. And um, I want to say another thing that's extraordinary. This is the first year, I believe, e perhaps in concert history, and Glenda Yoder takes total... I'm giving her total credit for this. She won't take it. I'm giving it. We are having 100% family farm, organic, sustainably raised, humanely raised food at this concert. These concessions... <laughs> This is huge. This is huge. Unbelievable feat. Yes. Glenda, stand up. Yes. Woo! Thank you. I know I'll pay, for, I'll pay for that. I'm sure I'll pay for that. But um, th today, I know you've all been to concerts many times and you've eaten concert food and you're going to be here for one or two meals. Sometimes people say Farm Aid is a two, what is it, a two drunk concert. <laughs> get drunk once and sober up and get drunk again. Anyway, the, all the food is going to be unbelievably delicious. It's going to be the kinds of food that you get normally but with the best ingredients possible. So please go out, enjoy it, and enjoy this homegrown village and just have a great day. Um, we're very, very happy you're all here. Thank you for supporting Farm Aid.